we have that final topic is uh, Lumi. Um, I can show you here, which is um, the URL is lumi.education. It's here. Oh, I didn't post anything in the chat. Maybe I can do that if you don't know that. Uh, it's lumi.education and it is an application for um, Windows, for macOS and for Linux, which you can download. And then it enables you to uh, view and create H5P content without an internet connection, which is... Um, yeah, I live in Norway for a while and in Norway you basically always have a good internet connection wherever you are, which is different in Germany, for example. Um, and many people are asking for offline support, so um, they would just like people to download some H5P content and then view it locally on their machine. And um, unfortunately this has not been done for um, mobile phones yet, so not for Android and for iPhones, for iOS. Maybe that will come later. But uh, we can take a look. So you see that icon over here, which says Lumi, and if I click on that, the application will open. Oh, and it opens on the wrong screen. So that is Lumi. And as you can see, um, it looks kind of similar like H5P. They al also used the um, yeah blue style. And um, yeah, maybe we can create H5P first. So you click on create H5P, and this is not like not on the internet, which this is on your local machine. And uh, of course, I could now terminate my internet connection, but then the stream would stop. Um, as you can see, it it's um, the thing in here is really um, the regular H5P. Uh, not really the regular H5P, it's a little more, so maybe some technical information. Um, the core of H5P is written in PHP, which is um, a program, programming language, and uh, that's running on the server side, um, so on the, on the machine, on the internet, somewhere in the cloud, or wh whatever you would like to call it. And uh, there are other languages they could lose, like Python, and there is um, yeah, it, it, the framework, it's called Node.js, which is actually JavaScript, which usually, usually runs in the browser, but Node.js runs on the server. And uh, what these guys, um, I think it's three teachers from Germany, um, did first, they ported the core of H5P from PHP to Node.js. And um, on top of that, they created this uh, application here. So, um, which, yeah, wraps. H5P. So um, it works exactly like H5P. You can see I can uh, install content types like I would install them on WordPress, for example. I didn't have questions set, obviously. So now it's fetching all the files from the H5P servers and it's installed, and I can now um, create a question set. So maybe I could do that. Um, I also have to give the title, of course, and uh, I'll call it title. And um, yeah, I guess you know how question set works. Let's just use a multiple choice quiz, add some question and some text and uh, some answer. Let's say A is correct. I know that's pretty quick, but uh, you know how that works. And um, instead of saving, you can now click on view. And you now have this question set. Of course, I didn't put a um, start screen on there, but it's, it is, yeah, if you know questions that you know how that works, I can finish. I can see my result. I can edit it again. And now the thing I could do, I could also save it down here, which is uh, interesting because it's still like a um, floppy disk symbol, I think. At least it reminds me of floppy disk. And um, here I can save it. And let's just say I put it on my desktop and I'll call it, uh, let's call it Lumi H5P. And um, so now I have that on my desktop, could share it with other people. Um, I could upload it to another H5P system. And of course, um, the other way works as well. So um, if I go back to my browser, this one here, um, where is it? Actually, this should, I, I have not tried that before, but because QR code is not installed on Lumi, I guess. Now we could try that. So um, in theory, I can download that content type, of course. I'll download it to my desktop. So I have it there and I go back to Lumi and I say open H5P files and I choose desktop. Oh, where did I save it? Downloads? I saved it in downloads. This H5P file and I open it. And that's interesting because it doesn't have, oh, it. Okay, it really works like H5P. So it installed the QR code um, uh, library that it didn't have before. 
and I can view it. So um, uh, you can, if, if you don't have a good internet connection and you don't have a server but want to use H5P, Lumi is really a great choice. It's pretty, it's not completely uh, done yet because uh, it doesn't have the um, the hooks of H5P, so you c cannot restyle content, for example, um, or modify it a little bit. That's missing, but it's really solid, it's stable, and uh, they are working on it, and it really works works fine. So if you don't have um, or need, need an alternative to running h on the server, um, people can use it. Downside, it's only available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, so you have to have a desktop system. And it's not available for mobile systems yet, but I guess that's only a question.